Farid Behardin is no gym bunny and he's happy to admit that for quite a while his favourite pastime involved getting heroes to dash about on the video screen. That isn't the case anymore and Michelle went to find out why Farid is so passionate about leaving the couch. It was tough committing to getting fitter, shedding the weight and living healthier. Finding that right balance between family, work and training. People don't understand. They say things like, he's crazy or obsessed. Obsessed, maybe. But at its core, it's simple. All you need is shoes, water, and you just go. Farid Bihadin began his journey to fitness in response to a dare. A friend of his challenged him to run the Two Oceans Half Marathon. And what began as preparation for a road race set him on the path to an entirely new lifestyle. Trail runner and blogger Farid Bahadin is an adventurous soul who loves being outdoors. He started his own blog with the intention to inspire people to get off the couch and get active. He's invited me along for an early morning trail run and my only hope is that I can keep up. Farid was already warming up when Michelle arrived. Hello. Farid, good to meet you. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Nice early morning start, thank you. No, no problem. Uh, we're a bit late, actually, for my normal start time, so we'll have to add on a couple of kilometers. Oh, to catch my up. goodness. Be kind to me. Have you always been the sporty guy? Started about 2014. I was more of a mathlete than an athlete, and with the birth of my daughter, it kind of inspired me to get out there time and be an active parent. The bug bit then, and I've been hooked since. Seeing Farid now, it's hard to imagine him as a 110 kilogram couch potato. And he also admits that his transformation hasn't been an easy process. He decided to share his experiences in a blog called Leave the Couch, which has become a source of inspiration and advice for thousands of readers and runners. Now, before I run the opposite direction, how do we get started? First, we do is a goblet squat just to get the glutes activated and just squat down nice and deep and then up. So we'll just repeat that a couple of times. What the guys do is like they get their elbows here in between the knees and then, you know, you're like at the right position. So this is like where you want to end off. So typically it's good to warm up, obviously. Coming cold, I mostly wake up and then just roll out the bed and go run. With this, activates your nervous system, gets you ready to go, and then by the time you start running, your muscles are ready and actually awake. I'll follow you. Okay, let's go. While Farid can scamper up steep slopes with the agility of a mountain goat, he doesn't see himself a super athlete, but simply as an ordinary guy who's got a little fitter. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's take a bit of a break. <laughs> cool. So I think we're warmed up now so we can uh, have a bit of a chat. Being out in nature can give you great perspective. What valuable lessons have you learned? No matter how big the mountain, if you keep your head down and keep climbing, you'll get to the top. I started blogging. I couldn't run around the block. And now I've done a couple of ultra marathons. It's just about putting in the work, putting in the effort, keeping your head down and you can achieve whatever you want to. Running can be such an isolated sport. How do you stay motivated? It's always nice to explore different routes and to share that with your friends. At the same time, there's amazing views that goes along with it. The other thing that kept me going is the fact that you're always continuously improving, whether it's running slightly faster, climbing slightly faster, your technical aspects. The mountain changes throughout the year and you get a different experience on the same trail, no matter what the weather. It's quite a nice sort of motivator and keeps me coming back all the time. Okay, your new friend's joints is getting cold, so maybe <laughs> we should head off way to neck. Into the distance. That seems very far. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait for me! A project manager by training and profession, Farid creates content for his blog with the same focus and energy that he applies to his work and his running and he has won some major awards in the process. So this is why I keep coming back, man. This definitely makes it worth it, eh? Yeah. We're pretty fortunate and pretty spoiled, to be honest, to have a natural wonder right in the middle of the city. We have Devil's Peak, Table Mount and Lion's Head. You have a limitless amount of routes to choose from, so running never gets boring over here. As a dad, you obviously want to be a role model to your daughter. Has she started joining you? She's quite the adventurer, and I take her to Newlands Forest quite a bit. So she goes and explores and hikes with me. She loves it. You run to keep fit and healthy, but it's also allowed you to express yourself creatively. You've won amazing awards and doing great things. Being able to go around in the mountains and share that with people, so it's a lot of fun. I won a couple of big awards, the Venture Film Contest, as well as the South African Blog of the Year, and getting that kind of recognition makes it worth it. I don't think I'm doing too bad, but when do we start going down here? Well, we're almost there. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Michelle soon realized that running downhill can be even tougher than going up. 
but he had to agree with Farid about the sense of freedom that being on the mountain offers and the beauty and honesty of the experience. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well done, man. Well done. I made it. Yeah, you didn't do too badly either, so well done. Your biggest goal is to get people off the couch and motivated. What would you say to them? I think just start and then stay consistent. I think after the third month that you're on it, it becomes just part of your life. Just start. Farid, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for coming. Same time next week. Yeah, just a bigger mountain this time. Oh, the biggest lesson that Farid has left me with is that struggle is part of the journey. And in order to overcome it, you have to embrace it, learn from it, and then enjoy the reward. I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> Whew.